coming in here to do the repairs after a plumbing issue had caused a leak and we have been asked to come in here and perform the repairs and put everything back together for uh, this uh, lady in here. I know that plumbers came in and have been cut some extra drywall out so the uh, repairs are to the laundry room and into the living room as well, the main living area. So that's what we'll take a look at here today. Perfect, great, thank you very much. How are you today? Good, doing well. I wanted to come and take a look here. Oh boy, yeah, they did. They cut some a lot more stuff out here for you. So new plumbing lines have been run, hot and cold supply there. So yeah, there's a little bit more drywall that was cut out than uh, than when I was here the first time. So it's nice to come and take a look and see it in person. When we were first here, there was just a little cutout uh, down here on the wall. So space taken off there. Yeah, right behind the door, I remember. Did the plumbers tell you what was uh, what caused the, the leak? It's because the old pipe is underground. Mm. So it's hard for them to just fix this one and now they come up. So they decided to do the whole thing. Right. And yeah. This is okay. the three hums. The second yeah. hum, they just fix it. And mm -hmm. then this two or three days later, I still see the water there. Mm -hmm. So they say, no, they have to do the whole thing again. Right. We didn't know that there had been a lot more work to be done here. We had to rewrite rewrite the scope and make sure that we had all our materials and stuff ready to go for today. So probably get most of the board up today. And then once the board goes up, we'll mud it so that we can make it smooth so we can paint oh, it. The yeah, it'll be into next week as well. Yeah, when we do the sanding, which will be a few days down the road, we'll set up a containment. <laughs> We're going to cover some content because I do not like to make a mess. Before we get started, visualize what you see happening. So I'm going to start on this side of the laundry room, do what I can. And then at a later date, I'm going to pull out this uh, washer and dryer, protect the floor with an air sled, move it carefully, and do the necessary repairs behind that. So it's always about having a bit of a game plan and going with it. Okay, I want to remove some nails, so I need my hammer, then I'm going to install some wood backing to secure the drywall up here. Take some measurements very shortly. Just pass the drywall so you're able to tape it and fill it properly. See how that ceiling just sucked up? Mm -hmm. You want to reinforce it. Once again, make sure clearing all the water lines. When this is half inch, it's considerably easier to cut than 5 eighths.
spread it wide or float it out. Eliminate a humper of ridge so the wall is relatively flat. Float it out properly. It's hard with a six inch knife to do it, to float it out. Tradesmen will always use a wide knife to float stuff out. was in the laundry room and uh, they're gonna do their best to match it up. They're normally very good at doing that and uh, makes it easier just bringing a sample so they know exactly what paint color I'm looking for. to notch this same thing same well same length mm -hmm. and then just notch it just a little bit here and then it'll be obviously top mm -hmm. just can't pin it here you can pin it here and then put one there 
baseboard cutouts here around these two access panels in case there's an issue down the road. Those are the access panels to shut off the water. So baseboards have been done really nicely there. Wall's been painted, looks really good. We've got some nice natural light coming in here, so we should be able to pick up if there's any deficiencies in the painting, but it looks great. So we've done a really nice job. We also had the majority of this wall was also cut out and removed. Natural light should show us any imperfections, but it looks pretty good. Looks really nice actually. So nice job by our repair team here as well. So done a good job. Good news. Yep, yep, we do the same, we would do the same everywhere, so yeah. <laughs>